How you doing, everybody? It's James Larson from 94.1 KRNA Radio here in Cedar Rapids, and welcome to the Craft Beer Corner. As always, I am joined with Drew Knutson from the Mellow Mushroom. Hello. And we got Kirk Hayden from Metro Studios. All right, well, this week we took a little road trip, but we left our buddy at home. Apparently, you were a little busy down at the restaurant, but we weren't far away from you in Coralville. We were in Iowa City, Iowa, at the Big Grove Brewery. Oh, for a round eight. of applause. Yeah, yeah. Big very, very Grove, cool place. Yeah. Blew my mind when I walked in there. This place is massive, but we got to check out a limited release, and we were the first ones to try this great new beer made by Big Grove Brewery. Yeah, it was a, it was a special day. Got invited by Andy Joint, the head brewer down there, and uh, they call it Color TV. Okay, so Love we find out why they called it Color TV. We got to taste the beer. We felt pretty special. I mean, cruising down there in my Vega. And by the way, <laughs> when did they change the speed limit on I three eighty to seventy? Yeah, people were passing us. I mean, Old like, ladies were were passing but James us. James and I were having a good time. We sure were. Did so. you bring any Color TV back? With well, you? well, maybe. Well, maybe. Let's watch the package here as we head down I three eighty to the south, Iowa City, Iowa, and the Big Grove Brewery. Big Grove Brewery. I love this place, Kirk. It's beautiful. It's all set up. And today we have a limited release of this, the Color TV. Dude, I am excited. Oh, and, and you probably don't even know what limited release means. I have no idea what that means. Hey, let's get the guy that knows Andy. And Andy. Come he, on he's, he's busy working. He's, he's busy he's, working. He's working. Which, by the way, you come here in the middle. I feel like uh, it's a Justin Bieber concert in here because outside right now, there's a line forming around Big Grove Brewery here in Iowa City. So why is everybody trying to get their hands on the color TV? Well, brand new release, uh, kind of our, our new New England style beer. Uh, we put some Galaxy Hops in there it's drinking great people are excited about it this new england style is this just a fad that's gonna go away in a, in a month a year 10 years what's going on i don't think so i think it's i think it's here to stay at this point people love it so andy talk a little bit about and the reason we're here and you, you've invited us to this beautiful place color tv is a limited release tell us a little bit about what is a limited release and why is it so important and to your business and what you're doing as head brewer here at Big Grove. Sure. So, I mean, we, we made one batch of it. We filled up one tank's worth and uh, we divided it. We made 150 cases of cans and then the rest is going out to draft. So there's not a lot of it available. And so if you want it, you got to come get it today. So people will drive for miles around. I'm still here. Right I mean, there's a line out there's there. There's a line outside. Yeah. Yeah. They're coming here. What, what are they going to get when they come here? I mean, if I don't know anything about a limited release, what am I going to experience? Well, I mean, it's just a good time. There's a lot of people that are excited about beer that come hang out. They usually buy a couple four packs, maybe a case, um, and then they'll have a beer and just kind of get to know each other. So what, what, is a, what does a four pack cost? Uh, four packs of color TV are $16 today. So $4 a beer. Yeah. That's cheaper than a Bud Light at a bar, James. You, you know. Uh, yeah, trust <laughs> me. I know a little bit about Bud Lights at a bar. Now, I'm hanging out in this brewery. It is early in the morning here on a Saturday, but guys, enough talk. This is the craft beer corner. Let's sample this beer. I've been waiting all morning for this. This is like my morning coffee. So tell Cheers. us a little Cheers. bit before we taste this, and we're tasting it before the public's yeah, tasting it. Yeah. While that line is wrapped yeah, around, right, we're right. in here. You can right. talk while I drink. Okay, right. what are we going to experience here? So a double IPA, so we're 7.8% ABV, and then heavily hopped. I mean, this is one of the most heavily hopped beers we make, and it's Galaxy is the feature here. Get a ton of fruit, some orange. Yeah, I, I taste orange, that orange. Yeah. I was going to ask you, that's the first thing, is I taste the orange, but it's not too much orange. This is a really... A good a happy medium here, man. This is good because it's not too boozy. That's for me. Some of these New Englands can be a little boozy. This isn't too boozy at all. And you know, we keep the bitterness really low in this style, so it drinks really soft and nice, and it doesn't leave much on your tongue. You keep it keeps you coming back for more. Okay, now you know on this show, Kirk, I have had beers that I said I don't like or I'm not going to drink. So I'm not. Uh, I don't like everything, but this, after the first three or four sips, this is a good beer. Oh, this is excellent. I will be going home with a few four packs myself. Sixteen dollars a piece. And that's okay. Yeah. From a brewing standpoint, I mean, we look around and we see. Look at all the cans and, and the beers that you guys brew and are available to the public. Being in the public, they got to come here to get this beer right now today. Right. It's, as you said, it's going to be out in a small quantity, um, released. Maybe find it in some uh, establishments around 
yeah, the Eastern Iowa so area. You might find it on draft at a couple different bars or, and restaurants around, but as far as getting it in package, it's only available here at, at our Iowa City Brewery, and then we also have some up in Solon at awesome. that brewery as well. So from a brewing standpoint, head brewer, you're the guy, you're, get, you're the guy baking the cake here. What's going to determine, are you going to make this again? You know, a lot of it is, uh, this is a tough one for us because the Galaxy is so expensive and so hard to get your hands on that it, it would be a hard one to make again. But uh, we kind of gauge the reaction by the people who are drinking it and buying it. And if they love it, I mean, you got to come back to it, right? Yeah, this may be a stupid question. Where do you get the oranges, the orange taste? Where do those oranges come from? Are these Florida oranges, California oranges? <laughs> are they Swisher, Swisher oranges? Where yeah, do the oranges come well, from? So we kind of joked about it. We we're going to do a collaboration with Minute Maid. You know, this is our collaboration <laughs> with Minute Maid here. So, uh, but the Galaxy Hops really bring most of that. This yeah. is the way they interact with our yeast. They, they, they create that flavor profile. There. So before we go, I need to ask you, why did you call this the color TV? What does that mean? Sure. Well, so we were kind of thinking about this style and what it means, and it's a huge innovation in craft beer. And so we're thinking about historically, what were some of the huge innovations in history? And we're like, well, color TV must have been a huge deal, right? So it kind of it felt like a good name. You guys had a lot of fun down there. Oh, and, did we and have I tell a lot you what, I know Andy does a great job down there, and uh, uh, you guys did bring me some color TV. I'm we, so we proud did. of you. We, we did. And, yeah, we before did. we try it, speaking of having fun, we had like the backstage pass because people were out front waiting to get in, and here's Kirk and I. Just back there drinking beer, shooting videos. I mean, I felt like a kid in a candy store. Oh, yeah. I thought Andy was going to be like, hey, you guys just take over. Run the place yourself because it was. Uh, he really wanted us to enjoy their beer, and he was pretty proud of it, and he should be. Hey, before we drink it, Drew, talk about the name. Color TV. It's got the bars, the old TV set. I mean, this is just a great name and a great concept, and we haven't even you haven't even tasted it yet. Well, you know, and I had a chance. Uh, you know, I was gone. You guys FaceTimed me in, so I, did, I, I was able to talk to Andy with you guys around there and that and and that was special and I I always have to ask what's in a name because you know I I, I think it creates a lot of interest uh, and so, you know, this color TV is supposed to be like way back when black and white TV and then the innovation of color TV was huge. Right. I mean, nobody thought right. it could be done. And that's what Big Grove is saying they're doing with this New England IPA, a brand new innovation to this style of beer. And they think this is probably the best you, you can you can get. Well, yeah. stop talking and do a little drinking already. Cheers. And Kirk, we, we've tried it yet. Yeah, cheers. This is this is special. This is uh, Kirk and I actually went home and, with and, a couple of four packs. In, this, our, in so. our beautiful glass. Let's yeah, not yeah in our that. craft beer corner glass. So I really want to know uh, right off the bat, your first drink there, what you think of the color TV, Mr. Andrew Knudsen. Well, on a scale of one to five on the untapped, uh, definitely give the aroma, you know, a 4.7. Uh, I'm going to give the first palate taste, I'm, I'm going to give that a four. And then I'm going to give the, the finish uh, at least a 4.8. I just and, really and like it kind how of fun how it goes in, it hits you. And then it's gone, and you're like, hmm, I'm ready for another drink. Yeah, yeah. Usually uh, New England IPAs can be a little bit too heavy, uh, especially in the that. finish, yep, yep. Uh, but not not this one. They did a great job. Here's here's to color. Yeah, and, and Kirk, Saturday night after we did our sampling down there and shot that video package, social media exploded. All of our friends, uh, the Iowa Craft Beer Crew, everybody was putting up pictures of this, saying, yeah. you got to try it, you got to try it. I got my hands on a couple of four-packs. I mean, this thing really exploded on social and it, media. And it appeared that everybody thought it was as good as we thought it was. So we must know a little something. Well, uh, no, that's that's not exactly true. We have to thank Big Grove, because uh, yes. th- all the guys, Andy, they Andy all took and time the out of their yeah. schedule. that day. Here they're doing this big, what I call the Justin Bieber concert, and they got a couple of journalists in there. We use that word loosely around here, but they took out a couple hours of their time to meet with us. But last but not least, talk about what Big Grove does in the community as far as a brewing and selling and serving a great beer. Well, they've done such a great job. They come from small town Iowa. You know, they opened their first brewery in Solon, Iowa, just up the road there on Highway 1. Uh, still in operation. They do such a great job up there. Uh, and then, the, obviously, because they make great beer, uh, we're able to expand into that huge facility down there in Iowa City that you were in. And I'll tell you what, they are... Um, Big Grove is becoming just a just a name of right. Iowa City, and they, they do a great job. And they didn't forget their roots because they did this release at their soul and tap at the room same as time. well. Yeah, they right. Did. Yeah. yeah. So if you've got an idea for us, a beer or a brewery to check out, comment below right here on the Craft Beer Corner. We would love to check it out. For Drew Knutson and Kirk Hayden, I'm James Larson right here on the Craft Beer Corner, where we're making beer drinking great again.